welcome to the Herbal Hookers YouTube channel. It's official. I'm finally on the bandwagon. This is an introduction video for bare basics. If you are so proud to be the one to teach you this gold magical. Let's say that. That's like a no word. That's that's. For today's project, we'll be using a 5.5 millimeter aluminum hook, four weighted 100% acrylic yarn. Today I'm using Red Heart with Love, but really any brand works for beginning off. This color is Peacock, for those who are wondering, because it's beautiful. All right, so I like to take out a little bit of extra yarn so that my tension is even throughout. All right, let's jump straight into the slip knot. This slip knot will be used to start every single project. You're going to hold the tail in your right hand, wrap it over your left pointing and middle finger, grab the hanging yarn, pull it through the loop, and tighten. Voila, you did your first slip knot. Let's try again. Hold the tail in your right hand, wrap it over your two left fingers, grab the hanging yarn, pull it through the loop, and tighten. You're now ready to engage your hook. Tighten your slip knot a little more to be accommodating for your hook size. Over time, you will gain your own style of holding your hook, but for now, just remember to make sure that your thumb is in the flat surface and that you tame the tail. Taming the tail will give you more control of your project. Here's an example of how I generally hold my hook. All right, now we're ready for the chain foundation. To chain, you will yarn over and pull through the loop. You're going to wrap your hook under the yarn and pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through. We're going to continue the same thing 13 times. Feel free to pause undo and redo your chain until it looks something kind of like mine. You don't want to make it too loose or too tight. It'll make you difficult for the next step. All right, now we have 13 chains. We're ready to move on to our single crochets. For single crochets, we're going to go into the second chain from the hook. Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over again, and pull through two. There you have it. You did your first single crochet. All right, let's repeat this across the whole row. Insert the hook into the next chain, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. Again, insert the hook into the next chain, yarn over, pull through one, Yarn over, pull through two. Continue the same stitch across and I'll meet you at the end of the row. All right, insert the hook into the last chain, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. It should begin to look something like this. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's your first time. I've been doing it for over 10 years. All right, on to the next row. Let's chain one, turn, and the same thing, going to the second chain from the hook. Insert your hook into the front and back loop of the chain. Here's what I'm talking about if you don't get me. We're gonna do the same thing, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. Into the next chain, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. And repeat the same thing across. Remember to feel free to pause the video as you're going along with me. All right, two more single crochets to our second row. Put the hook through the stitch, yarn over, pull through one, and pull through two. Like we did last time, chain one and turn your work. On to row three. Again, we're going to go into the second stitch from the hook. 
If you're finding that your project is getting bigger or smaller, this is probably where you're getting the problem at. And that's pretty much all it is to single crocheting. I decided to leave a clip of me just single crocheting in silence for those who would like to study my hands. I'm a visual learner myself. If you would like to make this piece into a headband, feel free to. In the next video, I will show you how to connect it together. Just continue doing rows and rows until it fits around your big old head. <laughs> Peace, y'all.